Blame Truth here, and uh, you, you know, you guys are smart. You, you guys are way smarter than I give you credit for. And I'm not just saying that to suck up, because you called something I actually did not see coming. The Codfather did not see this coming. I should have seen it coming. I should have been prepared for the absolute worst, just dishonest behavior, scumbag behavior from Activision Blizzard at this point. But the fact of the matter is, is I don't think like these people. This is why they are a lot richer than I am, but I, I simply do not think like this. So I, I didn't see it coming, you know? Thankfully though, a viewer actually called this and I gave him credit on Twitter because he, he said this over a week ago it was gonna happen and it actually happened. It, it aged like a fine wine, the finest wine, if you will. What am I talking about? Well, Warzone Mobile. I, I covered this when it came out. It was a complete disaster. As far as I know, it still is a complete disaster and the only platform you can play it on, iOS, while it works there, it will make your phone incredibly hot. I wanted to make a video covering this and only this, but it would have been a short video, like four minutes long or something. But uh, yeah, like Warzone Mobile is causing iPhones to melt, certain iPhones to melt. I, I mentioned it in a previous video in passing, but yeah, like literally causing cases to melt, literally causing processors to heat up to like 70 degrees Celsius. Just crazy stuff. I can't play the game because of some 2FA issue I'm having, but I don't think I'd want to because I don't want to damage my phone. But outside of iOS on Android, it's been even worse. While iOS can play the game while their fingerprints melt off, like the scene from Men in Black, uh, Android users, they're having all sorts of issues. It's like luck of the draw. It, it's complete luck if you're gonna have a good experience or a bad experience on Android. So it's no surprise that the game has been very poorly received on the Google Play Store and the ratings have been dog water. Uh, the last I checked, the last I could verify before I quit paying attention to the ratings and stuff like that was 2.3 in the United States. I'm gonna judge mainly the US here. It's kind of confusing because Google Play separates it by region. So a lot of the star ratings I see might be in India or the UK specifically. So it's hard to verify that it went lower than 2.3. I think I did grab a screenshot showing that it went to like 1.9 in the US, but I don't know if that's true or not. But I saw it at 2.3 on the Google Play Store the last I checked and kept up with it. You guys can tell me differently or whatever, but the point is that 2.3 out of 5 is very, very poor. What is that, a 4.6 out of 10? Yeah, it's just, it's not good. And honestly, that's kind of shooting a high from what I understand. So, uh,. I see that and I'm thinking, wow, that's kind of a disaster. But lo and behold, I, I check it today. I was looking for a video topic for today's video. I check it today and wouldn't you know it, something just isn't right about it. Something is not right about it. Yeah, I'm gonna cover what I saw and go into detail with it because I've been doing a lot of research today on this particular topic. Uh, one of my viewers called it and I'm gonna show you what he called in just a second after a brief word from this video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Factor. Factor is one of the long running sponsors on my channel because as far as I'm aware, we're all human here and we all have to eat. I haven't met a human being yet that can live without eating. Maybe one day, but until then, we have Factor. You see, Factor is perfect for me because I'm a very busy guy and sometimes I just don't have time to cook. I'm also quite a healthy guy and I work out and I need proper nutrition, I need good macros, I need carbs, I need protein, I need fats, but most importantly, I need all of these macros to come together in a nice, delicious meal that tastes good. And Factor does just that. You just stick it in the microwave for about two to three minutes. It's fresh, never frozen, shipped to you in refrigerated boxes, and it is amazing for macros. This is like the perfect pre-workout meal right here, the jalapeno beef mac and cheese. They also have new wellness shots, which are perfect for me who always forgets to take a multivitamin and stuff like that. So guys, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CODFATHER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber.
All right, guys, welcome back to the video. So what am I talking about? Why am I being so secretive? Well, it's because I like to build suspense. Because what you guys are going to see is a billion dollar company just doing billion dollar company things to pull the wool over our eyes again. And to anyone that says they are not capable of doing this, they would never do this, it's beneath them or whatever. Keep in mind here, keep in mind that it took them five years and the entire, pretty much the entire Call of Duty community complaining and asking for answers to get a blog post about skill-based matchmaking, engagement optimized matchmaking, just for them to acknowledge it existed. We knew it was there. They never acknowledged it due to NDAs and Bobby Kotick and whatnot. It took us five years just to do that. If they are willing to keep it that secret for that long and still not give us the entire truth and i covered that in videos as well it was very lawyer-esque it was it was a, like a statement you know prepared by a legal team and it was very clear if they are going to do that they will do something like this i'm 99 percent sure they are they are botting reviews they are botting five star reviews on the google play store now and if you don't if you think that's crazy if you think that's a conspiracy theory Fine. You don't have to believe me. I have no definitive proof, but I do want to show you something that's just it's just odd All right, you saw the low ratings there. I saw it at 2.3. I believe it was March 23rd 24th or so that's when I saw it some people if you've been keeping up with it in the United States at least It could have been below that could have went below that I think it had around 100,000 ratings at the time I saw this, so quite a few you know, people had reviewed it at, the, at that point. But uh, I, I do believe that it's been review bombed by fake accounts that Activision most likely purchased. Or maybe they just created them, I, I don't know. But I did go over some of the reviews and they're very interesting as far as uh, who did them and what they said. But let's take a look at the present day United States Android Call of Duty Warzone mobile reviews here. 348k reviews at 3.7 stars. That is a huge jump. I mean, to go that high in the course of a week, by the way. I, I mean, again, I don't know the exact reviews. I should have been following this like a super nerd all week and like really jotting down every piece of data, all the reviews I could see, whatnot. But uh, I mean, that's a lot of reviews pouring in way after launch which is a bit odd. Usually the big, you know, all the reviews and the, the big uh, final stank rating comes out within the first week. So this is already a little odd, but for it to go up from where I saw it at 2.3, possibly even lower than that, up to 3.7 with as many reviews as I saw, it would need constant, like, like hundreds of thousands of constant five-star reviews pouring in to like help negate the one star reviews that it's trying to balance itself out against. Most reviews for the game are either five or one star. Some people will give it two stars. Maybe they're like, well, this sucks, but it has potential. So I'll give it two stars, but mostly it's five and one. That's just, that's just human logic. You know, it's either a thumb up or a thumb down to balance out the one star reviews pouring in, not only to balance them out, but to increase that the five star reviews have to overwhelm the one star reviews because this is an average you know like mathematically it literally seems impossible for this to be legit now there are a few people on reddit that kind of caught this happening as it happened but i'm serious i have reddit proof here check this out these threads were posted uh, eight and five days ago respectively on the cod wars on mobile subreddit this person says some five star review bombing is happening right now on Play Store. If you haven't yet rated it one star, do it now. And then five days ago, this person says five star bombing on Play Store. Ratings went from 1.7 to 1.9. So we have people witnessing this five star review bombing. But what do these five star reviews look like? I actually collected several. And um, you guys just... You be the judge, man. I mean, there are some five-star reviews I saw that are from legit people. I would assume they look very natural. 
um, they'll say something like, this runs fine on my device, but it needs more optimization, but five stars. Or they'll say like, this is fun, but the graphics need to improve or something like that. Like there's criticisms in it. Like it seems natural. It just seems like a five star fanboy review. Those are going to happen no matter what, right? I've seen one star reviews as well. All of those are just talking about the performance and the fact that the game makes their phone feel like uh, a molten lava rock or whatever. But then you have reviews like this. I just pulled these, I mean, I, I sorted by most recent, and I pulled them from today, yesterday, whatever. Check this out. They, they all have default Google pictures and just standard names, and there's no, like, there's no detail in their reviews. Just look, Corey Garcia says, good. Hugo Arellano says, love it. Madhavi Cherry says, good. Inval says, fun. Maya Singh says, good game. Analea Haynes says, nice. It, it gets worse, though. I saw this on Reddit, and I, this was before, I guess, the review bombing kind of came in. This looks like AI or someone was paid, honestly. Take a look at this. Um, this was on Reddit, and it got a lot of upvotes, so a lot of people saw this, but on 321.24... Swarnov says, Playing Call of Duty Warzone on mobile has been an incredible experience for me. Being able to jump into intense battles wherever I am has added a whole new level of excitement to my gaming routine. The smooth controls make it easy to navigate, and coordinating with my squad using in-game voice chat feels seamless. Plus, honing my skills on the go has been a rewarding challenge. Interacting with the vibrant Warzone community has also been a highlight as we share tips and strategies to dominate and the review cuts off there there was another one a viewer shared with me as well that's just it it doesn't it's like these happened before i think the 25th or so before this week so when the game first came out we had these weird almost ai or like sponsored reviews coming out that just read like an advertisement you know they, they read like a fake review and then we have these just random faceless google users dropping one two word reviews five stars and it was like falling the average was falling and then all of a sudden there's this v reversal like the reviews are are bitcoin you know and after this huge drop it's just v reversals and goes straight up to 3.7 um even if they came out with a patch that like fixed the game and fixed the performance issues a lot of people that already rated it one star are not going to go back and change the review and a lot of new people i mean if they've been playing since launch it just doesn't it, nothing makes sense you know the launch week is like when people are going to review the game and when people are going to check out the game the fact that the week after happened and then like the reviews doubled and then overtook the one star reviews and pulled a v reversal i just don't believe it look man i'm not saying it's a hundred percent proven that like activision is doing this and they're behind these review bots or whatever but uh i'd, I'd give it a solid 99 percent. i think that's totally fair you guys be the judge here i'm not gonna tell you what to believe what to think but i just don't put it past activision at all um i don't know man i don't see any world where warzone mobile is a five-star game even from the biggest fanboy like any game that makes your phone incredibly hot, any game where the majority of people seem to be having some sort of performance issue, whether it be overheating, frame rate issues, glitches and bugs, bad visuals, etc. I, I mean, that's just not a five-star game. And uh, the game looks worse than an N64 game in a lot of cases. It really does. A lot of devices I've seen it on, so... Anyway, guys, I'm out of time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts below. Let me know what you think is going on, and I will catch you on the next one. In fact, leave a Google-esque review for this video. Just type out, like, very good, fun, nice video, very nice, great vid. Type out one of those things. Leave it in the comments section below. Change your profile picture to the default, like, YouTube letter. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out. Advice. Ah!